Valenice, those three students have been charged with unlawful distribution, which is a felony that charge stemming from evidence found at the school. We're told surveillance cameras there caught the whole thing. Investigators say the boys were seen on video handing the candy to students. We've also learned the three suspects are brothers. They're all charged with the same crime. I also spoke with officials at Strickland Youth Center today who tell me the fact that it happened inside a school makes the charges a lot more serious. Three teenagers accused of selling meth-laced gummy bears faced a judge this morning at Strickland Youth Center. The judge was very specific and serious about the fact that this was poisoning kids. Essentially, it's attempted poisoning. Michael Deagle, chief probation officer, says the boys will stay here a while as investigators figure out where the drugs came from. It all started yesterday morning when six students at Alma Bryant High School were rushed to the hospital after eating the drug-laced candy. Not long after that, Bayou Labattery police arrested three other students and took them to Strickland. Investigators haven't said if the six students knew the candy was laced with meth. Either way, authorities say drugs in the hands of teenagers is a big problem, especially when they bring it to school. Anytime it's at school, that's that's like the worst of the worst when it's happening at what parents believe are a protected environment for their children. Officials say the six students who ate the gummy bears could also face charges if they paid for the candy. We're told, we told you first today that the sheriff's office says adults may also be involved. Meanwhile, the three boys are being held at Strickland until their next court appearance. In the newsroom, Alexa Knowles, Fox 10 News.